everyone. Today, I thought we would talk about the Pose Library. So I'm selected on this uh, character's skeleton, and I've selected the guy, the person symbol here in the tabs. Um, and if we go, go down to Pose Library, if we open this up, we have uh, what Blender calls a Pose Lib. Now, um, any animation that is saved within your Blend file. Now, the Pose Library is connected to the actions in, see here we have a, a dope sheet of this animation. And within the dope sheet, we have an option to go to our, our action editor. Now, if we go to the action editor, we can see all the animations that are saved within this blend file. Okay. And one of those is my hand pose lid. Okay. Now, what I'm using this for, and this is useful in a pose library, so if I go back to here, go to back to my pose library, open this up, I can change all the different hand poses. So I have all, you know, different hand poses in this pose library. And if I go to pose mode, and in my bone groups, I have selected just the fingers. So just left fingers, if I just select one of these fingers. So I'm just selecting that the left fingers. And now if I just, I'm on fists right now. So if I hit this little magnifying glass type thing, my hand goes into a fist. And if I want a point, there's a point. Peace sign. There we go. So that's uh, how you would use a pose library. Now, all of these um, poses in here have full body poses. So when I create these poses, I create them with a full body pose. But because I was only selected on the fingers, that made it so that only the fingers used those actions. Now, with any pose in the pose library, it has to match your skeleton. So you can't just use any pose library with any skeleton. It has to match, the bones have to match. Okay, now in this skeleton, they happen to match for this pose library. So, to show you though that every pose in the pose library has full body uh, is a full body pose I have all the bones selected here now and if I hit that now I go into the pose that I created these hand poses with so originally when I made this hand pose I did it with the character in the T pose and I just animated the hands because I knew that this was why I was going to use uh, this library just for hands. So I didn't make any body motion or any body pose in it. So um, that's how you basically use, it's really good for facial animations too. If you have a lot of facial bones and stuff like that, then you can easily make a pose library for those bones and then make a bone group for just those bones and it makes it easy to go back and forth. Um, but sometimes you might want to use a, a pose library for a full body pose though. And I'm going to show you real quick how you can do that. So I'm going to append, I'm going to bring in another pose library. And hopefully I can find this um, fairly quickly. Here we go. So I'm going into an old blend file that I have where I know I have a pose library. And it's going to be in the action folder. 
and here it is, Medhu weight poses. And I use these poses to quickly be able to test out um, my weighting on um, different avatars. So if I open up, I'm in the pose library now, and I just click this little button, and now I can go find that pose library that I imported, that I appended. So there it is right there. I can use that, and if I want to save this pose library in this blend file, I need to click that F and then click Save, but I don't want to save it, so... And now we can look at, I have the whole body selected. And just like that, I can use these poses. And they were poses that I created to basically test out my weighting. And of course, these poses don't have any finger animation, any finger transforms on them. So they're not changing the fingers. But I could go back to my hand poses right here. And I could go, maybe I want a relaxed pose. I want to select off all the bones. Maybe select one of the fingers, select that one. And maybe I want to change both hands. So I'll select this one also. And just like this. Bam, just the hands change. So that's how you would use a pose library, how you would um, add to a pose library. Let's say um, I want to make a new hand, and maybe I want, um, let's make this a fist to start with. And then maybe I want to bring the pinky out. So let me try and grab the pinky here. Yep, okay. I'll line this up and just pull this pinky down. So just like this. Go like this. Yep. Pull this pinky down. So maybe he just has his pinky out. Like that. And crooked here, so it's like that, and I think that pretty much does it, and usually if your pinky was out, you would have, your knuckle would go past a bit to extend that pinky all the way, maybe that's a bit too much, there we go, so, um, so let's select this is his left hand, so let's select all those bones. Well, actually, it's going to save the whole pose. So it doesn't really matter what bone you're selected on. So now I'm just going to save this. And I just add a pose, add a new, and there it is. So if I go like this, changes that. Let's do the whole body just so you can see this better. So just like that, it changes it. If I go to this pose, save the whole body. Now let's just say I don't want to use the whole body, of course. Let's just say I want to put that, make the right hand use that same pinky. I want it to have that same hand as the left hand. So, of course, I select my left hand, or actually, I select my right hand, my right fingers, just like that, and, oh, or, actually, what I do, <laughs> sorry, uh, select the left fingers and I would just use my copy options in my poses here to go copy that and now I want to move it to the other side and now I could take this pose and overwrite this one that way I make sure I have
pinkies on both hands out. So I want to overwrite this. So I want to hit the plus. I want to replace exi existing. Use that. Now, if I go here, select, select all. If I go here. Well, I must have did a different pose for that one. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. So we'll go back to the pose we had. And here we have those fingers again. Those pinkies. So that's a quick look at uh, the pose library. Have a good one, everyone.